Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to our reading of the next Super Duper, okay, for more adventures with the Super Kids. We're on Unit 9, whoop, Unit 12, Lesson 9. Sorry about that. Okay, so first we're going to look at our reading warm-up list. As soon as it downloads. Here we go. All right, so here are some words that we're going to, are going to be in the story and we're going to discuss a little bit today. Cliffs. Yes, these are in the sound out words. Steep. Remember, first word says its name, second is silent. Canyon, wetlands, and mammoth. Now, words that you are going to see in the story. Parks, wild, national america underground and crocodiles okay so let's look at this page okay and it says super duper america's parks okay now um when tex visited there was a contest right and the super kids wanted to tidy up around their bus so they could win okay and through doing that they learned that it's important to take care of their land all right now in america americans have okay areas of land that are called national parks that technically they belong to everyone who lives in the country okay so they belong to the america to all of us to americans all right, so this story here shows a picture of one of the, the America's parks, all right? And America is a shortened way of saying the United States of America, okay? And one of the things that they're going to talk about, okay, is into the wild. And what do you think that means? That's right, things that are wild in nature, whether it's animals or plants, all right, where few or maybe no people live, okay? And what do you think you might expect to see in the wild? Right, a lot of different animals, okay? Uh, different types of plants, wildflowers, fields, depending on the ground, okay? Could be nice and just grassy, like a nice field or meadow, or like we see here. Okay, and mountains and rivers and streams and all kinds of neat and beautiful things, all right? So look at this picture here. They're kind of reddish, right? And these are cliffs, all right? Very steep rocks. They're kind of neat, aren't they? Look what's down, way down below, okay? A river of some sort. Isn't that cool? Okay. So those are reddish cliffs or walls of rock alongside a canyon with water, all right? And it flows through the canyon, all right? Do you have an idea of what this place could be called? Some of you might know. If you said the Grand Canyon in Arizona, you would be correct, okay? So let's look back again at some of the words here. All right, so we already saw what cliffs could be, all right? And we know that steep means very difficult. It's usually at an angle and difficult to um, difficult to climb up or down. A canyon, all right? A canyon is where there's lots of uh, deep valley with very steep sides, okay? And wetlands are ground that is very, very moist, such as swamps. All right. And mammoth means huge. All right. And once again, national in this case means our country. All right. And one country. So again, America's parks owned by the nation. So they're national parks. All right. So what I'm going to do next for you is I am going to play the story for you to listen to 
of Super Duper America's Parks. All right. So you can listen to that story. And here we go. Let's see if I can. What is this? There we go. All right. America's Parks. The parks you go to may have slides and swings, but there are other parks you can visit that have cliffs and caves and wild animals. These parks are national parks that belong to every person in America. This park has lots of big animals and hot springs. It has spots where hot water sprays up from deep underground. Fantastic! A park can be underground. This park is a cave where tunnels stretch on for miles and miles. In some spots, the cave is so little you can't stand up. In other spots, the cave is so big you can't see to the other side. The park is named Mammoth Cave. Its name fits perfectly. This park has lots of steep, rocky cliffs. Way down at the bottom of the cliffs is a river. You can ride a mule from the top of the cliffs down to the bottom. Hang on! Cape Cod has lots of beaches. You can swim and play in the sand. If you look across the water, you could get lucky and spot a whale jumping out in the sea. The Everglades has miles and miles of wetlands. Many different animals make their home here, from tiny frogs to big crocodiles. America's National Parks protect land and animals. Every park is a bit different. But a kid can have a terrific time in each and every one.